What's up guys, Mike from Rockville, and today we're looking at the Rock On 7 Intelligent Moving Head. I'm really excited about this. This is the first intelligent moving headlight from Rockville. Let me just open this up, show you what comes with the box, and I'll show you how to use it. So we have a power cable, it comes with the DMX cable, and this is really cool. It actually comes with a lighting bracket so you can attach it to a lighting clamp. So this is it, this is the Rock On 7. Let me actually start with the back really quick. So we have DMX in, DMX out, and then the plug for where you would plug in the power cable to it. On the bottom, you'll notice there's actually rubber feet. This makes it really great for putting on the floor if you were trying to wash a wall. So on the front, you'll notice right underneath the display, there's four buttons. There's a menu button, an up and down, and then an enter button. This actually allows you to control every function, or if you don't want to use the buttons on the front panel, you can always use the included remote. So the Rock On 7 has a bunch of different modes. So I'm going to go over the different modes. I'm going to use the remote to help me do this. First mode is just auto mode. And what auto mode is, it's the light is running through professional design presets. So let's put it in auto mode. You'll see it starts moving. Right now I can change a parameter like light color. So let me go to red. Cool. I could go to green. I could go to blue again. And I could go to white. And that's actually what RGBW stands for. Red, green, blue, white. So this is auto mode. We're just letting the light do its thing. But maybe you don't want that. You could put it into sound mode. And what sound mode is, is the light reacts to sound itself in movement. So if I go. You'll see the built-in mic in this light is actually getting the light to change. Just using the remote control itself is a mode in itself. So for example, you'll see certain buttons like strobe. If I click it, it'll put the light into a strobe. And then I can actually increase how fast that strobes or decrease how fast it strobes. So the next mode we're gonna talk about actually requires a little bit of DMX knowledge. It's master-slave mode. So master-slave mode actually requires another Rock On 7. Now the way master slave mode works on almost all lights is the light that becomes the slave just follows whatever the master light does. So the first thing we're going to need to do is grab a DMX cable. Make sure you don't use an XLR cable. I want this light to be my master. So I'm going to go from the DMX out of this light. I'm going to go straight into that. And on my slave light I want to go into the DMX in. If you don't remember which one is the slave, you can always check because on the Rock On 7, right by the display, there'll be a flashing light by the word slave. Let's grab our remote again and just mess around with some of the settings. So put it into auto. You'll see they are following the same exact pattern. So this is kind of like a step right below DMX programming mode. Let's tackle the big one though. DMX mode. So I have my Rock On 7 hooked up to my DMX controller, which is the Rock Force 384. Basically what I want to show you guys is how much control you have with the DMX controller. Channel 1 over here is supposed to control the pan, so that's the X motion of this light. See, it does that. So channel 3 is actually the tilt, so tilt is the Y motion. So you'll notice it going up, and we can go all the way back down. Channel 5 is the XY speed, so that is basically how fast either your tilt or your pan is going to be. So I'll put that all the way up. You'll see that no matter what I do, I'm all the way up, it's going very slow. So the top of channel 5 is slow, the bottom is very fast. Channel 6 is actually the dimmer, which you're not going to notice if you put anything up until you have one of the lights up. Channel 8, 9, 10, and 11 are all the different lights, so we have red, green, blue, and white. Now, if you mix some of them and you put channel six down, you'll see that it's controlling all of them. Whereas if you control one individual, it's just taking out that specific light spectrum. Now, I skipped channel seven. Channel seven is the strobe. So if I go up a little bit, you'll see it starts with a slow strobe. And if I go all the way to the top, it's a very fast strobe. So if I go to the mill here, it should activate sound mode. You can see it's activating sound mode. So channel 12 activates sound mode. If I go to channel 13, it's the manual motor speed. Channel 14 actually controls the automatic color change. And channel 15 controls the speed at which those colors change. So channel 16 is actually a reset. Just go all the way up. You'll see the light shut off and then it'll go into reset mode. And there's actually a lot of different applications that you can use this compact, intelligent moving head. 
because it has a rubber feet, you can put it right on the floor and wash your wall, which is perfect for event lighting. It also comes with a hanging bracket that allows you to connect it to a light clamp like our LC70. And then you can put it on a truss system or a T-bar stand. And when you do that and have it high above the stage and add a little bit of haze or fog, it creates a really cool spot effect. We talked about all the different modes you can use them in. This just gives you a lot of different ways that you can bring life to your stage setup or your event setup. So if you're looking for a compact, durable, and very bright, intelligent moving head, look no further than the Rock On 7 from Rockville. If you liked what you saw in this video, leave a like and a comment in the comment section below. And you know what? Let us know how you would use your Rock On 7 in your stage setup. As always, guys, I'm Mike from Rockville. I'll see you next time.